Aloha, my name is Martin Fry. I'm the senior field technician for the Maui Nui Seabird Recovery Project. And our project's mission is to protect and enhance seabird populations and their habitats here in Maui Nui. So I think everybody knows um, the impacts that, that cats can have on birds. They're known worldwide uh, for decimating bird populations. And that's especially true on remote islands like here in Hawaii Ne, where there were no native mammal predators on birds. And so the direct impacts of uh, cats on birds here is that they prey on their nests, they take their chicks, they kill the adults before they're able to continue feeding their chicks long enough for the chick to fledge. And there's also indirect impacts that cats have. They spread uh, pathogens that are unique to them and their biology, which they carry around with them and which they spread into the environment through leaving their wastes behind. And so we now know that animals that are even living in the ocean are, are subject to the pathogens that are spread by, by cats. My name is Kelly McGuire. I am the Director of Veterinary Services here at the Maui Humane Society. There are a lot of reasons that contribute to overpopulation of cats on Maui. Not enough people are spaying and neutering pets, um, as well as um, animals that are dumped or abandoned intact across the island. That's contribute to overpopulation of cats. Um, as well as in the mainland, you would see harsh weather or predators, and we really don't have any of those on Maui. How to control the feral cat population on Maui is a really complicated topic. Uh, it, it's going to take a lot of different approaches and everyone working together to achieve that. But I would suggest that the, the status quo, what we have going on right now with uh, what's called TNR, trap neuter release, I would argue that that is not humane and it is also not control. The current situation we find ourselves in with hundreds of outdoor cat colonies as they're called or sometimes referred to as community cats. These are concepts and terms that as wildlife professionals and protectors of native wildlife we completely disagree with. Um, we don't think that it's also uh, very humane to keep cats that way outdoors unsheltered without entertainment and proper medicine and attention. Hi my name is Julie Mount I'm here four nights a week that I feed nine colonies in the Kanaha area. I come in the mornings because we learned that no one was making a point to come in the mornings to make sure the cats had water. That was really important for the cats to have water all day on hot days. I would love to see the TNR program be changed from uh, trap, neuter, and release. I would love to see that become trap, neuter, and rehome. I don't think any kitten should be put back here. It's unfortunately, people I think right now who are putting their cats into the woods because there's nowhere else that Humane Society can't take them right now because they're so full and they're moving off the island and they can't take them and so they brought, bring them here. It is a challenge to uh, adopt feral cats uh, that are out in the community. Um, in the past, um, cats that were brought in that were feral to the Humane Society a long time ago used to be euthanized. The feral cats um, have what we call TNR, trap, neuter, return. Leaving that cat in place unless it's in some type of distress is really important. Um, that um, animal, especially fixed, um, has, is playing a role in being able to keep that population low. My name is Darlene Rayhill and I am the co-founder and executive director of Good Cat Network, which is a nonprofit based on the island of Maui. And what we do is we specialize in transfers. Um, and what that means is we fly cats over to the continent for adoption. We were given a pretty wonderful opportunity to work with Aloha Air Cargo. Um, and we're able to fly out 12 carriers of cats twice monthly through this whole program where we work with colony caretakers and other people in the community to get the cats out of the colonies and socialized and then um, onto the flights for adoption. If you see a stray cat, I think the first thing to look for would be the notched ear. So that is um, what identifies a cat if they're altered or not. Altered meaning spay and neuter. Even better, try to, try to 
become its friend and socialize the cat and find it a good home, either through our organization or many others. If the cat isn't tipped or doesn't appear to be tipped, then I would um, come to the Humane Society and borrow a trap, um, set that trap and bring the cat in for spay or neuter and we could vaccinate and tip it and get it returned back to the area in which it's doing a really good job. Maui Humane Society offers low-cost spay and neuter. Um, we offer uh, no cost for those that are trapping feral cats in particular or community cats and traps and brought to us. It's really going to be a community, neighborhood, grassroots effort of everybody coming together and really um, being involved in um, active trapping and span neuter. Um, and that's going to be something that's going to be, I think, the key factor for us going forward and having significant impact on our population. We really wanted to designate a space that is good for socializing cats so that they can get ready to fly off island. There's a lot of transfer partners on the continent that, that, that will take the cats, so if we can just get as many socialized as possible and get them flown out, I think that would be a really great help. Um, keeping your pets indoors um, or an indoor-outdoor catio type of situation is important. Our uh, government officials, um, you know, consider being able to make harsher penalties for abandonment. The, all of those things contribute to our overpopulation and if we could take care of those things, I think that we could have a, a really good chance of being able to stabilize a lower cat population on Maui. We would ask everyone to reconsider the idea of community cats and whether or not we, as a community on this island, really want to have a, a species that is so implicated in the, the harm to native ecosystems, such as house cats are, if we really want them living uh, free and at large um, on our island. There isn't one single answer and there's no one single solution. It's more about trying to work together as much as possible. I feel like if we're butting heads about what might work or what might not work, then nothing's gonna get done. So it's really about um, working together.